of an opera singer and she's been singing since the age of four. The lady who can boast a seven octave vocal range and there are many that can say that. A seven octave voice, that's quite incredible. <laughs> <laughs> you can go really, really low and really, really high. Yeah. How many octaves do you really have in your range? Because we were kidding around for a while saying, hey, she's got a 37 octave range, she's got a 43 octave range. Well, some people say five, some people say seven or whatever. It's just I have this like upper register, like this whisper register thing. Uh -huh. And some people say that it's like seven, I don't know. Do they coach you to get that going? I mean, to, to, to tell you how to sing a little bit higher? No, I just sing whatever I feel like singing and uh -huh. that's what ends up on the record. <laughs> they say it's incredible because a piano has like eight octaves. Right. And so it might not be humanly possible to have a bigger range than you've got. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, there, is there any break at all? I mean, some, some singers have like three or four notes between octaves that they can't sing when they go from like their regular voice to the falsetto or from falsetto to say whisper or something like that. Not really, I don't know. So seven octaves you have. Well, I don't know who said seven, but... <laughs> yeah, Ema Sumac used to have seven octaves. Remember her? She was... I can see you do, yeah. <laughs> um, how many octaves do you think you have? I don't know. When you support... It depends on the day. I mean, if yeah. I'm tired, I, I have about one, but... <laughs> yeah. No, it really depends. And if the air is dry and all the rest, yeah. it all affects things yeah. like that. Smoke yeah, smoke and things like that. Your octave range is from what to what now? I don't know. Um, it's really, my mother's a, an opera singer and a vocal coach, and she's always like freaking out when I hit certain notes and going, you can't hit that, that's, you know, too high, how are you doing that? But I, I really don't know the exact range. The vocal range you have is, is quite extraordinary. I mean, there's a piece in the paper, I don't know whether, it, whether it's true or not, saying that you can open your garage door <laughs> with, with the, with, here, here it is, it says here, um, you can open and shut the automatic doors on your garage when you hit a B over a high C. <laughs> So you know that song, you know, em Emotions? Yeah. Okay, you know you do that very high C. Apparently it's alleged in this country that that note opened a garage door. I heard that. <laughs> Not off, everyone. No, I did hear that. <laughs> this lady told me that, that it opened her garage door. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, and what did you say to her? I thought it was pretty cool. You see, but see, for me, I'd sue you, because I'd say that's criminal, because if the garage doors open, people might be able to get into my house. <laughs> when people introduce you, or sometimes in interviews, I always see them talk about your octaves. How many octaves do you have? I don't know. I have no idea. It's just like I sing, and whatever comes out, comes out. I mean, yeah. sometimes I have more of a range than other days when I don't get too much sleep or whatever, but I don't know. I don't yeah. Know. So what that means is from how low you can go to how high you can go? Right. Okay, somebody said six octaves. That sounds like a lot. Is that a lot? I don't know if it's six. I don't want to say, okay, it's six, because I don't know. That could be, like, something absurd that nobody could ever do. And I have no clue. I'm totally, um, <laughs> I don't know. I just do it, whatever comes out. I really don't know how many octaves it is. I don't want to say that it's as many as people say, because I don't know. I never measured it. But I think that um, I'm more naturally a, an alto. I have a lower voice, but I, I experiment with the top part of my voice. Your mum being an opera singer, did she coach you? I mean, you have this extraordinary, I think it's five octaves, isn't it? You can. I don't even know what it is. So your vocal range is, it, would it be five octaves or so? I, I really don't know what it is. I, I have no idea. I don't, I don't know if it's that much. I, I don't know if it's a lot less than that. I have no idea. Depends how much sleep I get, actually. I don't know exactly how, what my range is, so I, you know, I wouldn't want to quote it at being anything specific. I don't know. Um, I just, on a good day, I can hit pretty high notes, and then <laughs> on a bad day, it's lower or vice versa, whatever. Uh, here's somebody who thinks that you have seven octaves in, with your voice. Uh, with, with I don't voice. think that's possible. People write that all the time, but I don't think that's a possible thing to have. Mm. So I really don't know. Today I probably have negative one because I'm tired and I haven't mm -hmm. slept very much. But it all depends how much sleep I have. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a fact from Ava. She's from Amsterdam. She's 15 years old. And uh, she would like to sing herself like that. So maybe you can give her a little tip what she should do or what Ava, she should not do. Ava, what you do. need to do is get yourself some ginger tea and some honey and get as much sleep as you can and sing along with the radio every day and like that. You're famous for your vocal range and ability. Um, how high can you go? <laughs> I don't know. Today, I, I can, today I sing <laughs> bass. <laughs> today I'm singing at the lowest part of the uh, scale. It really all depends on the amount of rest I get. I've really learned that um, certain things play an important part in, in my voice, um, staying in shape, like resting, humidity, um, 
you know, not talking and sleep, and that's the whole thing. My mother is very technical, so she knows, wow, you just hit this note that's blah, 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 above high C, and I'm like, what? Okay, whatever. Because I sing R&B music and I'm not technical. My mother's very technical, so she knows all that stuff. But, but um, can you give us a sample? Darling, no. Like I, <laughs> I have to on the days when I sing, I rest for two days before, and then I sing. On the days when I'm just doing, you know, talking like this, I don't sing. <laughs> but I also worked a lot at my range. I worked a lot. At well, that's quite a range. <laughs> How many Thank octaves you. is it? I don't know. You know what? They say certain things. I'm not um, a technically trained musician. My mother went to Juilliard. My mother made her debut at Lincoln Center as an opera singer. I didn't. I have a problem with certain mics because I have such diversity in range. Like, I can belt, mm -hmm. but the air is also not picked up as well by certain mics. And you hear my speaking voice is like more low, and that's why I can like go into like the lower register, like low, 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 low. You know, pretty low, <laughs> but the <laughs> stuff is a whole, <laughs> is a whole different Jesus. thing. <laughs> uh.